But looking back, you know, she always, always battled and grappled and struggled with depression, severe depression and, and social anxiety and everything that comes with it, right? So she was 27 when she passed. So June 14, 2021. Yeah, and you know, one thing I would say that she didn't have was friends. She, I think because of her low, low self-esteem, she didn't think that people would like her. She just didn't have friends. And it's, it's nothing on her end. Like, it's not like she's not funny. She's not loving. She's an amazing person, which I think is so unfortunate that people didn't get to see. And she didn't get to see that, you know? She's so artistic. She had like, her, one of her poems or writings was posted in a magazine for teens in seventh grade. Um, something about like a something Cinderella um, and I think just reading and through and looking at her artwork you can feel the kind of person she is like so deep and so lovely her handwriting is so cute she has so many different ones she's always writing like little cute things like oh blueberry pancakes on a Sunday morning and she would draw the little cute um, icons um, let's see what else she makes a lot of memes and she's just she's just funny like object okay I think she's really funny. <laughs> yeah, I think you would you would know. Um, not know like if they're gonna do it or not, but just know that if they're depressed, right? They're like hard to get out of bed, like all those you know DSM symptoms. Yeah. But for suicide itself is like they they seem like content. Like when she left, like she looked content. Like, yep, I made up my decision. Like so, even though they look like normal, quote unquote. Bro, like follow go with them you know like, that day I felt mm-hmm. kind of guilty because she asked if I could take the bus with her I was like oh no like my friend's driving me you want to come and she's like nah <laughs> so then I was like thinking like what if I went what if I went with her right took the bus with her because she didn't end up taking the bus she took an uber to Fort Lee where she you know uh I don't know which specific but she, it was like some white powder thingy that she took so I'm a therapist, right? So hearing my clients, they talk about the like psych ward is not fun. Actually, it's like they never want to go back. And that's what my sister said too in her last few weeks when she was alive. She was, again, the psychiatrist, like, you got to go to the psych. You got to go. You got to check yourself in. It's an emergency. Like, you're in psychosis. And she was like, no, I don't want to. I, I, I don't want to. And she looked at me in the eye. I was like, oh, why? Like, why not? Like, you need to. And she's like, you don't know what it feels like to be in there. And then I was like, okay, I backed off. I was like, all right, this is her life. I can't force her to go to the um, ER. So, yeah, unfortunate. She was so ashamed of talking about it. Um, She would never want, like, and my mom too, so ashamed. Like, that's the biggest part I noticed is the shame. There's incredible shame. So then you don't talk about it and then you think that you're, you know, hopeless and all that, right? I made a short film for her. Um, and my mom was like, why would you do that? No, don't do that. Like, so against it because then that would mean that it's acknowledged that she did pass by suicide. So against it. And I was like infuriated because I'm like, one of the big reasons she probably did it because she felt shame. And you're here continuing the fucking chain of shame. Hello, did you not not learn anything from this? Depression is a disease. It's not something you choose. So it's not like, oh, I want to die by suicide. Like, you know what I mean? It's not like a super active choice. It's the last option, honey. Like, God, like I feel like I'm talking to myself and just everyone. Like, we have to understand that's, that's not what they want. They're just consumed in this disease that just takes them into another psychosis reality they want to live it's just their reality has been already so hell like they can't it's it's yeah i know it's like sometimes i feel like i have to fight for my life um and so maybe you know other people can relate to that like why why do we have to try so hard just to exist or want to exist but another thing is like feelings come and go so in the terrible terrible darkest moments of our lives it will still pass and it might, who knows, it might come again. What I, For me, I ha, I'm actively surrendering that. I, that's not in my control. I can yeah. do every single thing amazing and I can still suffer with this.
I also struggle with like depression and anxiety and all of that. So what I would say is do not be ashamed. Number one, always don't be ashamed. Number two, talk, 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 talk to close friends, talk, <laughs> uh, see a therapist, a psychiatrist, anything you need. It's it's a disease. Hello. It's like if someone had cancer, what are you not going to like, are you just going to hide? No, like, yeah. So, you know, try to normalize. And then number three is know your support, find support. It's not so black and white, like, oh, yeah, like, that's a sin and you're going to go to hell. Like, I think at the end of the day, as I get to know God more, um, trust this heart, I believe his character isn't like that. It's, it's much more understanding and gracious, and he's the one who wants us so badly, right? And I also see Jing seeking God so much. I don't think God would ever close a door on someone who is so keen to want to know him you know I know her heart was always like open and even reading her journals and the books that she would like take notes annotate like God Jesus like she was seeking God like 1000% I know her heart and just because it doesn't look like a Christian that goes to church every Sunday bro like I am sure God sees their heart you know he's not limited to a building and in her letter to us, in it, they say, I trust in God. And so, you know, I think it's a whole other topic of like, oh, agreeing with what she did, right or wrong, all that, whatever. I'm just here to say that's what she expressed. And that's what I saw in her. Right. So I do have hope that I will see her again.